people with learning disabilities uh, commit similar offences to anybody else in the population. Um, so they, people get arrested for doing things like theft or burglary or violent offences against other people. Sometimes they get into trouble for stealing, taking things from shops. Um, they can get in trouble for driving cars without licenses or stealing cars. So yes, yeah, some people get arrested and can go through the similar process that anybody else would, would do. If a person with a learning disability is arrested, the sooner they tell somebody that they have a learning disability, the better. And we can help with um, contacting relatives, loved ones or carers or a friend. We can get some easy read information with pictures and leaflets. And they will be asked lots of different questions and then put into a police cell and the door will be locked. So when somebody with a learning disability comes into prison, they may struggle talking to other people um, and so they won't understand what it is they need to do because they won't ask the questions. Um, but this could be that they don't know how to um, call for help if they need it. They, won't, they might not understand how to, um, that they're allowed to talk to the officers and ask for things to be done to help them. I just said I, I've got a mild learning disability. I, um, I said to him, I get angry quick. That's what my disability is. But everything other than that, I'm quite capable of understanding the conversation and that. But he won't know straight away, he won't know straight away he got a learning disability, because they might not have met the threat, but when you get used to it, they, they will know, they will know when they do assessment on you. If you have a learning disability and you are open to a service in the community, or not, I can work with you within the prison to help you with all those things that um, other people might find easier. When somebody goes to court, they will have a solicitor, a duty solicitor normally, and they will meet up with them beforehand. If we've done paperwork for the court, we can make what we call reasonable adjustments. And that might be things like speaking really slowly, having breaks, going, leaving the courtroom if somebody feels really anxious. How, how, how did you feel when you went to court? I was, I was anxious and I just didn't know what was happening, didn't know what was happening. If I knew, if I knew there was people like you lot now, years ago, I would have asked for you lot to help me, but there was no one around out there, it wasn't. So we're a small um, team based in the community. So we're um, psychologists and learning disability and mental health nurses. We work with people to try and help them to think about the things that have got them into trouble, to look at what's going on in their life and uh, work out a plan with them about how we can work with them to help them to change some of the things that have maybe got them into trouble. If, if you feel like you're going to get offended, go and speak to a safety worker or your advocate or your doctor because prison ain't a life for, for people like us. So if you have a learning disability and you're worried that you're getting into trouble with the police uh, or you've been to court or you've been to the police station, then it's important that you let people know that you have a learning disability in those situations because you can get help and support. Don't be embarrassed, tell somebody as soon as you can that you have a learning disability and we can help you through the whole process.